Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. An Oakland County judge heard arguments earlier today to decide if Oxford Community School defendants should be dismissed from lawsuits due to governmental immunity related to the 2021 Oxford shooting. Attorney Van Johnson arguing the case should move forward to trial. His clients, families of Tate Meyer and Justin Schilling, two of the four students killed in the shooting, are accusing the school district of failing to protect students. The allegations, including school employees ignoring signs from Ethan Crumbly that indicated the teen was mentally unwell and showing an obsession with violence and guns. Judge Brennan says her decision will be announced sooner rather than later. Well, state police are investigating a deadly crash that killed a 32 year old man. It happened Tuesday night in Two Mile Road near Petal Brook Drive. The man was driving northbound and ran off the road into a ditch before crashing into a concrete barrier. Officials say he was pronounced dead at the scene. Well, firefighters responding to a house fire in the city of Burton. Take a look here. You can see the home and garage in this video submitted to TV5. The call originally went out around 1130 Tuesday night. Several agencies responded to that scene. There's no word yet if anyone was injured or what caused the fire. Stay with TV5 for more updates. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. We have had plenty of sunshine so far today. This afternoon, some clouds starting to move back in, so more of a variable cloudy sky, but it will still feel chilly, too. The wind chills into the lower to middle teens for today. That wind a little bit stronger, around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Our high temperatures for today around 25 degrees. That's thanks to the southwesterly wind that we're seeing. That will continue even as we head into tonight, but then a cold front moves through on Thursday afternoon. That'll bring us a more chance for some scattered snow showers during those afternoon hours but also change our wind towards the northwest, bringing some of that colder weather back in. But snowfall totals Thursday afternoon, only a dusting to an inch, so really not going to be a substantial snowfall by any means for our area. Just again, more or less a light coating of fresh snow. And your seven-day forecast, snow chance is still minimal as we head into the weekend. After Friday, where we are expecting that cold day with a high of 14, we're back to the lower to eventually middle 30s. And even early next week, looks like we warm up even more. It's possible we're back to the lower 40s by Tuesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.